Hey love, so I want to tell you guys this Bible verse that I just uh, found. So it says, um, oh, what is happening here? So it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make sure and he will make and he will make straight your paths. So, I feel like that means um, whatever you're worried about or whatever you're stressing about and you don't understand it, leave him to figure it out for you. He don't want you to figure it out. He he already got a plan for it. So, he don't want you to stress about it or be like, oh, you know how you pray for like certain stuff or whatever and it's not like working. You trying to figure out like, okay. I pray for it. I don't understand, like, how it's not working out or, um, you know, I just don't understand, like, what is, why is this happening to me? That's why he says in his word, um, trust in the Lord and do not lean on your understanding. So, you might not know why, you know, the situation is happening, but God knows why, why it's happening. Like, say, for instance, you had, like, a heartbreak, um... Last night, like, you got into it with your men or whatever, and you not understand, like, why y'all had to break up, and you study questioning, like, I don't understand why we, why we broke up. I did everything I was supposed to do. I was faithful. I was loving. I was caring. And God is just telling you, like, leave it up to me. I understand why y'all broke up. It's not for you to understand. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to, if it's meant for y'all to be there, I will push y'all together. But if it's not, I will leave y'all separate, you know. Or say, like, um, what am I going to say? Say like, um, say like you have cancer and you don't understand like why it's there and you're trying to figure out like, you know, why do I have this? Um, I don't want to cut off all my hair. I want to keep my hair, but I have to cut it off due to cancer. He will take care of that. That's why he said, don't lead on your understanding. Don't lead on your own understanding because everything in life is not for you to figure out. If you put it in God's hands and he will figure it out for you. He already know you. He already know that you have the problem, and he know a solution to it. So that's why he says, cast all your cares on to him, because he already have a solution, and he already going to figure it out for you anyway. He already seen it come way before you said it's already coming. So it's like he's going to figure out what to do with it and how to fix it for you. That way you don't have to worry and stress. And, you know, if y'all understand this part and agree with it, give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know that um, you understand what I'm saying because I told y'all that I would give y'all a Bible verse and I love that Bible verse um it's why here I forgot to show y'all it's why here I hope y'all can see it let me know if y'all can though so I could do it over and I got my food cooking too so I'm putting this in my food and I'm giving y'all this uh, Bible verse. It's another one I saw earlier. I think it was on Facebook. I know I've seen it somewhere, but I can't. I can't think of it. So, I see this one. It says, 10 popular uh, Bible verses. It says, For God so loved the world that he, that he gave his only, his one and only son, that whoever believed him should not perish, but have eternal life. So, y'all can see that. For those who believe in him will have eternal life, meaning they will live forever. So, that's what I at least think it means, that you will live forever. Like, you will be at, you will be happy and you will live forever. Like, you know, if y'all get it, if y'all can see it, I hope y'all can see it. But yeah, I like that one too. I've seen that one before. Um... And it says, in the beginning, God created another one that says, I'm so tired of fireworks. <laughs> and, the, and the other one, it says, uh, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. I'm tired of fireworks because they be scaring me. And I actually think them gunshots, but I have to remember they not gunshots. They just be scaring me. I don't know. Though. In the beginning, 
God created the heaven and the earth. This is another one I saw. So, yeah. Um, I was trying to find this verse. I remember I was talking to this man that was at my school. And we were talking about uh, the, Bi the Bible and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, we were talking about the Bible and I was telling him, like, what his what his beliefs was. Like, do he believe in God or whatever? And he was telling me, like, he don't want to share that with me because it's kind of personal. So, I was like, okay, then. So, he and uh, I don't, I don't see why that would be personal because I just wanted to know. Like, you know, I didn't think nothing was wrong with it, but I understood at that time. I'm like, okay, you don't got to share with me. So, he was like, I guess he thought about it. And he was like, nah, because I told him I believe in God and myself. And he was like, uh... He finally told me that he did believe in God. And I told him, like, I pray every day. I said, I have my Bible and I bring it to school. And I'll show you this Bible for those who are new to my channel. It's not a, a real Bible, so don't be in the comments. And that's not, that's not the real Bible or whatever. I know it's not a real Bible, but it helps me out. And I'll look at it when I'm stressed out. I'm going to get it for y'all. Hold on. I think, I think it's going to be my wrong. Let me see. I think so. Yep. Oh, I almost fell over. <laughs> Crazy, huh? But yeah, my braids, they not sitting the way that I want them to sit. They keep doing all kinds of stuff. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is my Bible right here. So, it's a verse in here. I'm going to read that verse to y'all. Then, I'm going to end the vlog here because I feel like I'll talk enough to y'all. Uh, but, I do. I would appreciate it if you, if you guys would leave a thumbs up. So, it says, unanswered the prayers and focus. Have you mentioned Matthew 7.7? 7, pages 120. 1299. It's a verse where Jesus invites you. To ask, seek and knock in other words. So it says, God is answering your other prayers. Either yes, no, or wait. We all like the yes vote. But occasionally God exercises his rights to say no. No matter what the answer is, he'll use it for your good. For your good. If you love him, see Romans 8 to 8. 8 to 8, pages 1494. Um, we live in a world that has been broken by sin. Bad things happen all around us, but God uses those toughest, um, those tough, explainable situations to make us more like Jesus. So it says, God never stops caring for us. It's impossible for him to stop caring. It hurts when God doesn't answer our prayers as he hoped, and it's normal to feel sad and angry. Express your feelings to God. So... It's in my in my Bible. It's uh, a prayer for Mama T. I'm trying to hold it so y'all can see for real. Let me see. Let me know if y'all can see this, cause it's not. I will do it over. I'm trying to get it to where y'all can see. Goodness, can y'all see that? Um, can't use my other hand like that. Well, let me stop saying I can't use my other hand, cause. Whatever you speak to, this is shit happen. So, let me stop saying that. I can't use my thing. It just be hard sometimes. But, yeah. I'm in the vlog here. Um, if you watch all the way down to the end of this vlog, leave that any more that lets me know. And leave a thumbs up if you understood it. If not, I'm going to make a part two. Bye, loves.